What's going on everybody? Here we are another week at the Home Theater Hobbyist and this week we have our full review of the Q Acoustics Concept 20s. So let's get to it. So here they are, the Concept 20s from Q Acoustics. For those of you who may not be aware, Q Acoustics is a company out of the UK. They started in 2016, or 2006 rather, and they have been receiving rave reviews from the British press. In 2016, they moved here to the US, so now we can participate in that same goodness. The Concept 20s are 10 and a half inches high by just about 11 inches deep and just under seven inches wide. They weigh about 12 pounds each. They have a frequency response from 64 hertz all the way to 22 kilohertz and a nominal impedance of 6 ohms. They also have a sensitivity of 88 dB. They feature a 1 inch tweeter and a 5 inch woofer. Moving on to design, the Concept 20s come in two finishes, gloss black and gloss white. I purchased the gloss white. Now the speaker furthest from me has the grill on, while the one closest to me has the grill off. With the grill off, you'll see the one inch dome tweeter and the five inch woofer just below that. You also see the four holes that allows you to place the grill. To pull the grill off, you just simply pull it off and it comes off nice and easy. And you have four little pegs or prongs that on each corner so you can place it on the speaker. When you place it on the speaker, it fits nice and snug because it does have these nice little rubber, I guess what you call surrounds in there to help it fit nice and snug. Along the bottom, you have that Q Acoustics logo. That's just a nice Q. It's raised and it feels really good to the hand. Now this is an aluminum finish that holds the rubber in place for the speaker and it looks pretty nice and it feels pretty good. Along the side, you can see that gloss white finish. It looks really good. And I've noticed that it resists fingerprints and smudges a lot better than let's say a piano black finish typically does. Moving on to the rear, the first thing we notice at the top is the port. This is the base port. It's one and a half to two inches in diameter, surrounded by this gray plastic. Now, this speaker does come with foam plugs. So if, for instance, your speaker is too close to the wall, let's say less than seven inches, you use these plugs, you plug them in just like that, and that will clean up the bass response for the speaker. Now I'm gonna play two sound samples. The first sound sample will be the speakers against the wall with the plug out. And then I'll play a sound sample, the same sound sample with the plug in and you'll be able to hear the difference between the two. So now that you've heard those samples, hopefully you heard the difference. With the foam plug out or the port plug out, the bass had kind of a slap to, to it, it's blah, blah, blah sound. Whereas once I put the plug in, it was much cleaner and much better balanced bass. The bass sounded like it should sound coming out of a speaker. Moving further down the panel, you'll see your Q Acoustics label there, your connections for your speakers, and your serial number at the bottom. Now let's talk about your speaker connections. You actually have four speaker connections. You have the two at the top for your high frequencies and the two at the bottom for your low frequencies. Basically, the Concept 20s allow you to buy wire the speaker, which means that you can put speaker wire in here and speaker wire in there, connect them on the other end to your power supply, and you will get all the power that you need for both your woofer at the top and, or excuse me, your tweeter at the top and your woofer at the bottom. Now, if you don't wanna do that, if you don't want to buy wire your speaker, uh, 
Q-Acoustics does include these little pins. They look like little Allen wrenches. They're electrically conductive pins and you just drop them in the holes like that. And again, they conduct the electricity and screw them in. They conduct the electricity to the two ports. Now, if you have a single wire, the way you're supposed to connect these is you're supposed to put one in the bottom and for the low frequencies and one in the top for the high frequencies. And that actually completes the circuit. So you get the best sound that you can out of the Concept 20s. If you had them both in the bottom or both in the top, you would still get sound, but it wouldn't sound as good. Now, mind you, to do this, you have to remember to keep the pins in. If you want to buy wire it, take the pins out. Now, if you have spade connections like these, you can use them with this design. I recommend the way you do it is you want to unscrew it and you want to put your spade connection in between the nut that screws on and the electrical pin like that. So it actually kind of flares out to the side and then you take the other one and you do it like that. Tighten it down and it'll work just fine. Moving on to the bottom of the speaker, as you can see on the speaker, there are no rubber feet, but Q Acoustics does ship six little rubber feet in the package along with the speakers that you can install yourself. Now rubber feet add the benefit of protecting both your speaker and the surface finish on which is sitting from each other, from scratches and things like that. But it, they also decouple the speaker from that surface so you don't get vibration to the surface, which is also really cool but you don't have to install them if you don't want to. Now I will say that the only place where I noticed an issue with the finish of these products or of these speakers is right here where you have to screw them in. And once you put the plugs in, you don't even see those little pieces of, let's say missing paint. So it's not a big deal at all, right? But it was the only place that I noticed where the paint was just a little bit missing. And once I installed the feet, that took care of the issue. Now that we've taught design, let's do a couple of sound samples so you can hear how these sound. Hopefully you enjoyed those sound samples. I decided to go with copyright music instead of movies as I traditionally do, due to copyright infringement being more tight on YouTube these days. But let's move on. Let's talk about my experience with these speakers. I'm going to rate these speakers in a few categories from one to five. One being the absolute worst and five being the absolute best. From a design standpoint, I give the Concept 20s a three and a half out of five. I love the curved edges and I really, really like this high gloss white finish. It looks really good. It's not as susceptible to fingerprints and smudges like a gloss black would. And I just think it looks really, really sharp. Now, one of the things I don't like is I don't like the little holes in the front for the grill. I really prefer magnetic grills. I think it cleans up the front face a bit. I also don't really care for this aluminum finish here. I wish they would have gone with the same gloss white along the front with the black cones. I think that would have provided a little bit better contrast because I think the, the front's just a little bit busy. You've got the black, you've got the holes, you've got the gray, and then you've also got this mirror finish down here that kind of takes away from it. So design is always kind of a personal choice. So that's why I give it a three and a half out of five. For me personally, I prefer to have it with the grill on versus with the grill off. I think this is is just a little bit cleaner look so that's just my personal preference moving on to sound quality i give these a three and a half out of five they have a nice big open sound stage which i appreciate coming from bookshelf speakers they also produce bass really well in that 60 to let's say 
120, 150 hertz range. They do a great job. Now, if you want to go deeper than that, you definitely need a dedicated subwoofer to get deeper, better bass. But these do a pretty good job, so I'm pretty happy about that. From a home theater standpoint, they sound really good, especially having that big open sound stage. But moving on to music is where I ran into a, an issue. And that was really at the high end. I was listening to a song that had some female vocals and the artist started to sound a little pitchy at the top end and I, I didn't really care for that. And I also noticed it when I was listening to another song that had some lead guitar that was playing, again, some high notes, it started to sound a little pitchy. Now I was listening to it one night and I decided to reconfirm what I was hearing on another night. Well, when I was doing that, my wife came into the room and she was listening and I didn't say anything to her. And she said, mm, it doesn't sound so good. And I said, well, what do you hear? And she said, well, it sounds a little tinny. I was like, yeah, because we were listening to that same uh, artist, the same female song, the female artist, and it just, it, it was just a little bit pitchy. And so that's why I give it a three and a half out of five. Overall, it sounds really good and you don't really notice that when you're watching movies, I guess, unless you're watching, you know, a musical or opera or something like that. But for the most part, you don't notice it. But in that high end music, I noticed that it was just a little bit pitchy and that's why it gets a three and a half out of five. Our final category is value, and I give these a three out of five. They have an excellent build quality. The surface finish is great. I mean, it's silky smooth. It feels good. It looks good. But my main issue is with that pitchiness at the higher end of the vocal range. Now, these are not a review unit. I purchased these retail. So I purchased these just like anybody else would. And if they have an issue, I don't know. I haven't talked to Q Acoustics about it or anything like that, but I do have that issue. And given the price of these, I wouldn't expect to hear something like that. So that's why I got to give it a three out of five. Overall, the Concept 20s are a very nice, very well built pair of speakers. They have a nice surface finish that feels really good to the hand and they're sturdily built. If you like this look, you can keep the grill off or if you prefer the grill on, you can do that as well. You have the ability to single or by wire the speaker depending on your preferences and they both work really well. And overall, from a home theater standpoint, they have a nice balanced bass and open sound feel that I really like. No issues there. When it comes down to music, the bass sounds pretty good, but I have an issue with that pitchiness that I heard at the high end. And that kind of steers me to say, if you listen to a lot of music, I'd probably look at a different pair of speakers. But if your main thing is home theater, then this is a pretty good pair. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Consider supporting us at Patreon and Amazon. You can also buy these on Amazon. We'll talk to you next time.